the first step would be creating a new project it will be a project that fits our plans usually it will be a web a stat static web project or a dynamic web project although we can also go for a JavaScript project let's go for the simple static web project press next uh, give it a name okay the name w will be sample and finish okay the Eclipse ID asks to switch to the uh, web perspective let's approve it here in the web perspective uh, we can find the, the folder web content where all JavaScript, CSS, HTML files, all, fi all of those uh, static files sh should be placed. Okay, so I right click with my mouse and select new other and here I can select a JavaScript source file. Next, uh, let's name it mycode.js finish and here we can write our code. Uh, okay, I, I define a function, its name is calc. The function receives two values, two arguments, and returns their sum. This is the function, a very simple function. Now I want to create an HTML file. I mark web content new and select HTML file let's name it demo.html and here within the demo.html I will place the uh, script element and refer using the attribute src to the other file mycode.js the other file that I can see within the web content folder together with demo.html doing so I can now call each and every uh, function defined within the mycode.js so let's call the alert function that pop up a small window with a textual message the textual message will be uh, 6 plus 7 equals and here I will place a call to the calc function uh, passing over 6 and 7 ok so now I mark demo.html and I can specify that I want to run it on server which is a static project I can also select run configuration to see exactly what happens. Uh, well, if you are not familiar with Java E, an alternative can be just uh, mark the file and then click open web browser. And you open with a web browser and this is the, the, the output output of this URL address uh, URL address that refers to demo.html file I can get the same by opening a web browser and paste the, the URL address and get the same result outside the scope of the Eclipse IDE